another one of the enemy. A source close to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf depopulation program for years. It appears that the bioweapon is not only carrying a viral agent, but the HPV vaccine as well. The beast of the bottomless pit, Moloch. 
Even physical matter. So maybe, if we all focus our minds on the destruction of this unholy weapon, it will happen. Like heroic Neo, the shark has freed us from the matrix. Now, we can unplug from the metal coils that once enslaved us, leave our mechanical caves, and greet this new dawn of truth. It's been 90 days since my last Truth Quest broadcast. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. Well, for the past year or so, I've been partaking daily of ayahuasca. In fact, the very concept of Truth Quest came to me during a powerful, a powerful vision. vision. It was during my last vidcast that I experienced what my wife described as a psychotic break. The next day, she and my son Stephen staged a family intervention. Well, I'm happy to report that since then, I've filed for divorce. Now I have time to dedicate myself to my true home. Questers, we know that reality is just a mirage. Somewhere through the crack between time and space, great cosmic truths remain, still awaiting discovery. These are the obscure and unmarked points along the road of our truth quest.
away we go. See there? That's some real good technique. The shark struggles, feeling its gills collapse in the thick gills. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived of this. This is such a treat for all you die-hard swim fanatics. performance thus far. Ferris wheels are a poor substitute for a truly representative government that honors the rights of its citizens. The big fish masterfully demonstrates how to splash and dash. The world is bracing for hyperinflation. You can't afford to risk your family's financial future on the volatile cowrie shell market. That's why smart investors are betting big on cattle. For over 10,000 years, cattle have been the enduring currency the world relies on. And you can rely on cash cow. Shells will leave you all wet. Invest in cattle and get moving in the right direction. We're off to the ring. This is actually going quite well. as she enters the final strip. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable qualities. Where the shark's swimming form has really started to appear. But can she repeat that performance in the 2024 Paris Games? Benefit by 
increasing her strength. Ah! Ah! Swimming is an ancient discipline, and this shark has it. What happens inside these gated communities? Two words, sex cults. And so we begin. Sated my need for speed. Ready, set, go. is one of the best forms of cardiovascular exercise available to sharks. This is not an optimal race. As aerobic organisms, sharks require oxygen. What ferocity! Impressive. But how do you think she'd fare in the 200 meter backstroke? Love books but don't love to read? Audilist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Gordon A. Boyd's Electric Toothbrushes, The Little Spy in Your Medicine Cabinet.
is an unbelievable stuff. Shark's poor technique is really limiting her swim speed. Look how gracefully she glides through the water. DHS source told me that Flamingo Joe's will shortly be converted into a corpse processing facility. to need a late surge to come out on top. for a maximum speed return. Such beautiful controlled movements. That shark just earned her PhD in race science. Wait, uh, hold on, I get that. training to practice your positioning. The shark works her tail like a propeller. Just like a quote of the day calendar, that was inspiring. Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbard. You see, Hibbard owns 50 shares in Schlumberton, who's owned by Exico, who are partners with Saxwell Gold and Varcon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsifex. Therefore, Hibbard made money on the clean. 